I am back with another review that um, David's Tea just came out with another tea. It is a black tea, and this tea was also um, also kind of like promoted at Toronto Tea Festival this year. Um, they ended up promoting this and saying, oh, this is our new tea. So it is a black tea by David's Tea called Mint Everest. So I have had this tea iced with honey before. Um, totally forgot to review it. I just didn't have the time, but I do have a little bit left and I did end up making it into a hot black tea this afternoon. So it is organic and it says this unique blend of ginger, cardamom and mint on a black tea base will give you give you that first breath of fresh air on a cool, crisp morning kind of feeling. The ingredients are black tea from Nepal, uh, peppermint, ginger, cardamom, black pepper. Um, yeah, I steeped this one for about five minutes. I added some honey. The ginger is pretty prominent, the cardamom is pretty prominent, and the ginger. So I don't really get too much of a black tea base or black tea smell. Um, I believe the price online is $8.98 per 50 grams or even $9.98 per 50 grams. Um, I steeped this one at five minutes and I did add some honey. I had about, um, I had a 20 gram bag and I already used um, two scoops for one drink. So this is another two scoops of tea. So I'm going to give it a try. So when tasting it, it's not a very strong black tea, as you can tell by the color of the tea. Not super dark. So this isn't a pretty, uh, this isn't a bold black tea. Uh, the ginger also isn't a sharp ginger. I get more of the black pepper. I get a little hint of the ginger. It's not like a spicy ginger though. So if you guys don't like spice, um, then this one's going to be okay for you. Um, the peppermint's pretty strong. So you get kind of like a black tea with a slight peppermint. It's similar to the peppermint in Cold 911 is what I would relate this to. It's not as um, medicinal as Cold 911, but it is kind of in that aspect or in that spectrum of teas. Um, the peppermint's there, the black pepper you, you get, the cardamom's a little bit there, and then the ginger you do get, but it's not a strong, sharp, spicy ginger, which is nice. Um, I do actually like this one. I don't know if I would buy more of it though. It's just kind of a, mm, it's just kind of a boring everyday kind of uh, medicinal tea, which I'm not really a fan of medicinal teas unless I'm sick. So I don't usually drink them. Um, I actually was on the fence about reviewing this one because I'm like, eh, do I really need to review it? But it's a new tea and I do new re new reviews on uh, teas. So obviously I have to do one. But uh, yeah, this one is okay. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. Um, would I repurchase this tea? I would not. Would I stock up? I would not. Rating out of 10, it's like a six out of 10. It's not great. Um, it's okay. It's good to drink and to have if you have a sore throat, but that's about as far as I would go with this tea. It's not do doing anything for me. Um, but yeah, if you're sick, it's great for it. Um, maybe if you have like a big meal, it would be good for digestion probably just because of like the peppermint and the ginger and the black pepper is probably good for digestion as well. But yeah, um, that was my quick review on Mint Everest by David's Tea. I wish I liked this one more, but I'm just not a huge fan. Like, it's okay. I'll drink this and I'll finish it, but it's it's not one that I would buy again. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Mint Everest by David's Tea. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried it in the comments and what you think of it. And uh, stay tuned for the next review.